Hello, mi gente, and welcome back to Nata Knows Best, my channel dedicated to all things food. So, as some of you may have guessed, I am from Nicaragüense Heritage. However, that's not the only thing that is running through my veins. I am actually Boricua as well, which would make me Borinica. So, in honor of my Boricua heritage, I will be making the iconic Puerto Rican lasagna known as Pastelón. So to make pastelón, we need to make our flavorful base, which is sofrito. And sofrito is a condiment that literally is the base of most Puerto Rican dishes. So to make sofrito, you need some cilantro and some culantro. I wasn't able to find culantro, so I only have cilantro here. But to this, you're going to add red peppers, green peppers, onions, and you're also gonna add some garlic. And you're gonna blend this together until it becomes a paste. So, as you guys can see, I didn't add any liquid to the mixture. On its own, it released liquid, so it allowed it to blend really well. So you wanna have a consistency like this. Our next step is to cook our sofrito. You can cook it in a big pot, like a caldero, or if you don't have one, you can just use a pan like this. So I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil. So to this, I'm going to add one packet of sazon, and this is sazon with achote, which is going to give our meat that beautiful color. We're going to continue seasoning with some oregano, and we're also going to add some cumin, if it would come out. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> We're going to sprinkle the cumin in there. So now that we finished our meat for the pastelon, we're going to do our next step, which is our sweet plantains. So for those that don't know what makes this a Puerto Rican lasagna, instead of using lasagna sheets, we're going to use yeah. strips of sweet plantain or mashed sweet plantain. It's totally up to preference if you want to smash it or if you want to slice these into thin strips and then fry them, but I'm gonna show you how to do the strips in the frying. So for this recipe, you're going to need four medium to large sweet plantains. I'm going to cut the ends, and then on the curved side, you're going to score your sweet plantain, and then going to carefully peel the skin. So for frying reasons, I find it easier to slice these in half. So I'm gonna get started frying.
All right, so now that we've prepared our ingredients, we're going to start assembling our pastelon. So the first thing you want to do is create your sweet plantain layer. All right, so our pastelon is finally out of the oven and I am so excited to try this. So this is what it looks like. As you guys can see, there's layers of that sweet plantain and then you have the meat and the cheese. So this is the Puerto Rican lasagna. So without further ado. Mm. The sofrito, you can't beat it. Like I said, that sofrito is the base of most Puerto Rican dishes. So it just packs everything with so much flavor. There's onion, there's peppers, there's garlic, there's cilantro. So a lot of herbs go in there, spices, aromatics, and it just gives you such a wonderful base of flavor to build off of. Honestamente, this is, this is good. This is really, really good. Mi gente, I don't know what else to say. This dish is amazing. If you haven't tried Puerto Rican food, definitely start with this recipe. Everyone loves lasagna, so making it a Puerto Rican twist is definitely a fun way to step in. Remember, we have episodes dropping every Wednesday at 6 p.m., so please stay tuned. In the meantime, go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe, show your girls some love. It's much appreciated. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Hasta luego.